so hey guys welcome back so in this lecture i am going to show how we can do the integration between the sonar cube server and the jenkins server till now we have completed this step 1 to 5 now we are going to execute this step 6 this is the jenkins server with the sonar plugin and once the sonar plugin is integrated with the jenkins server then we will create a job and after the we will execute the sonar cube maven job and we will see the scanning report on the sonar cube server so the seven step is that we will call as the integration between the sonar cube server and the jenkins server so this is our jenkins server you can see this is the jenkins server which is up and running and this is the terminal i just restarted the jenkins server so you may get the different type of the host number here so you can access the host number 8080 port number is there and this is my sonar cube server which is up and running so you can see under the project i don't have any scanning project here all right so i'm going to scan a new project through the jenkins server and after that we will see the outcome here now uh, if i go back to my spring boot project you can see this is my pom.xml file under the properties as of now i am having only the java version 17 i, I don't have anything else and along with that um, I need to add some uh, UTF changes so for this so in this uh, pom.xml file if you go to the properties under the properties I have java.version is the 17 compiler source also 17 and the project source encoding UTF-8 is there Okay, this is my property sections and under we have all the dependencies related to the Maven plus the SonarCube plus the Spring Boot project. So we have all the dependencies here as of now. Now I need to scan this Spring Boot project. So now I will go to the Jenkins. Now here the first thing is that I need to do the integration between the Jenkins and the SonarCube server. And to perform this activity first I need the plugin on the Jenkins server so to install the Jenkins plugin I will go to the manage Jenkins under the manage Jenkins just scroll down and go to the plugins then go to the available plugins now here I am going to search one plugin called the sonar cube and after that you will see the sonar cube scanner plugin is there so I am going to select this one and the sonar cube generic coverage is there so you need to install these two plugins so i'm going to click on the install and now it is going to install these plugins you can see the download progress installation is in progress so now if you go to the installed plugin and if you search for the sonar cube you can see these two plugins already enabled okay now i will go to the dashboard now let me create a new job so i will click on the new item now enter an item name so I'm going to tape the run sonar cube job and select this pre-style project and we can copy from the previous job. So build the maven spring boot project. Now click on OK and then so guys if uh, you notice that we are experiencing the slowness of the Jenkins server. When we click and when we do it is taking more time. Okay this will happen when you switch or reboot the jenkins server and when you start the jenkins server next day then the ip address of this jenkins server will change so this public ip address will change so how can we fix this issue so you can go to the jenkins go to the dashboard and i will go to the dashboard you can see this is loading so this is the slowness of the jenkins server we want to fix this issue so we'll go to the dashboard you can see this is very slow uh, we have to wait around 5 to 15 seconds and then i will go to the manage jenkins we are experiencing the slowness of the jenkins server even we have increased the gb now uh, scroll down click on the system now under the system just scroll down and you can see this is the Jenkins URL section is there. So you can see Jenkins location and if you see the Jenkins URL which is giving the old IP address and currently our Jenkins is running on this IP address version 4. So I'm going to copy this IP address and you can replace here. Now HTTP colon slash and this is the IP address then colon 
80, 80 port number now apply and save so this time you can see it came very quickly so i'm going to close this one now uh, let's go to the configuration part of this uh, run sonar cube job so first uh, let me go back to the job so you can see this time it's quickly running so i'm going to configure this job now uh, we will have the source code already the source code management configuration is already there and if you scroll down you can see the environmental level so delete the workspace before the build start so we want to delete the existing workspace before the build start and now if you scroll down you can see this maven clean and install is there now here we need to add the sonar cube maven job so sonar colon sonar this is the job which we are using to gain the maven based spring boot project now apply and save now your job configuration is done now build now this job when you click on the build now this job and if i go to the console output you can see the job is in progress so let me see okay so the job is executed quickly and if i scroll down you can see it is asking or it is giving me the error like the sonar cube server cannot be reached it is giving me the error and because of this error i cannot perform the sonar cube analysis on the server this is the server so this is the current server which we need to use so i'm going to copy the server and now i will go to the pom.xml file under our project so if you go to the this project and if you go to the pom.xml file so you need to edit this pom.xml file so under the properties you can see we don't have any sonar host is there here i'm going to include in the pom.xml file so here the first thing is that we need to add the sonar.host.url so you need to add this one and you can paste the complete url here and then close this statement sonar.host.url so we have the one url second to login to this uh, host url we need to provide the sonar cube token so sonar dot token we need to add here now how to get the token so if you go to the sonar cube server you go to my account section go to security and here we already have a jenkins user token so i am going to revoke this token first let me delete now here i am going to generate a new token so jenkins server and the token type is the user token and they will expire in one year and generate now copy this token and come to your project pom.xml file enter the token and now close this sonar dot token okay so we have done the sonar host and the sonar token configuration now commit the changes all right so now i'm going to re-execute this job so click on the build now so the job is started quickly so i will go to the console output so it's just uh, loading the rules and you can see here the java 17 is there and now you can see the analysis five file indexed and the quality profile is for java jsp web and xml so you can see there are the four languages and it took the by default quality profile the name is the sonar way so, and now i can see the build is successfully executed and here we can see the analysis is successful and we can find the analysis under this sonar cube server so i go back to this sonar cube server and if i go to the project sections i can see the analysis report before 49 seconds so this is the spring boot maven project is public so if i click on this one i can see the analysis report here for overall code security reliability maintainability and you can see all the duplications security hotspot is there so if i click on this one i can see this is the security hotspot is there. so you can see this is the analysis we got we can review and we can fix this one and if i go to the code section i can see the complete project is there so src main so you can see this is the src main is there so if i click on this src main i can see the line of code is 66 and one is the maintainability issue one security issue and if i click on this spring boot i can see the two java file is there the line of code are the 15s 
and there is a code scanning report is there there is no coverage report we will see the later and if i go back and here i can see the web app folder is there so inside the web app folder i can see the jsp and html is there hello.jsp and index.html now here we also got the pom.xml file and for this i don't want any analysis and it is showing that there you should not include the security token here so this is not the good practice and responsibility issue on this line okay this is the token here so we we need to maintain this token in the sonar.properties file so i will go to the overview sections now you can see the quality gate code pass so like that we can perform the quality analysis so i want to exclude the analysis of pom.xml file or any file that comes under this uh, web app folder 